Good day everyone. Welcome back to part two. I decided to make this a two part video. And I also decided if you watched the last one, if you haven't, go back and watch it so you can see how I made these. Um, but uh, yeah, at the end of the last one I was supposed to come back and mix some resin. But I didn't because it was getting cold and... Oh, excuse me. Oh. It was getting cold and I figured I didn't want to risk doing this and leaving it overnight in a freezing cold room and then things crackling on me. I just did not think that would be wise. So I, I decided to put the wings on the top, not the bottom. I think it will be a much better effect. Um, and for that I'm going to need to... Uh, resin my my uh, wings so I tried to use a, a double-sided tape to tape this so it's not lifting or anything on onto my surface here but it didn't work uh, it's, it was still lifting so now I've to, I'm just using some of the UV resin and I'm going to stick it down onto my surface here and then they go from there. Just going to start it a little bit first and then pop it down. Well, there you can see that. And then just give it extra, oopsies, give it more. Just so it sort of holds it down there. So when I put the resin on the actual epoxy, it doesn't slide everywhere. It's a little bit hard to do it because it's um, it's not really um, penetrating underneath there, but that's why I sort of started it off a little bit first, like that. Not like the sunlight; it sort of catches it straight away, which is pretty cool. That stuff really smells ugh, horrible. Horrible, horrible. Um, how to do it? Let me think. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've tried a few things, didn't work. So I decided to open my eyes and actually have a good look. And I found um, some double sided tape which should work like a charm and I've actually got this um, just uh, some canvases here I haven't got a single canvas that's <laughs> wrapped up or just these lots which will work good because it's really nice and tight and it's not gonna move and I've got these so I'm just gonna put the double sided tape on there it's only a small one but it's all good it'll work now it will work and I'll go all the way that way and cut it. Whoop! Just drop something. What did drop? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just gonna pop that over here like that, and then I'll. Oh, that's supposed to go. That's supposed. To... <laughs> God, I can't get anything right this morning. I'm just all over the place. Anyway, let's just do it. I'm supposed to take those things off and flip it over. Anyway, let's do it like this. Okay, so this one's even better. The more I go at it, the better I get. See, I've got one right across the middle. And just gently, I'm trying not to take the paint off my board here. Not that it'll matter too much, but still. So, yeah. I've got that it's sitting down nice and flat. There's a bit of a bumpy area there, but it's not going to worry us. As long as I have most of it covered, even if it gets a little bit like bumpy in some areas, then it'll just add to the character. I don't mind. It, like, you know how you have that separation from the resin? I don't mind that at all. It's going to be okay. 
Okay, so that's sort of waiting there. Now I'm just going to tape the bottom of this board. Um, I've got my resin outside, sort of sitting on the uh, in the sun, and uh, I'm just going to tape this, and we'll be ready to mix some paint, some paint, some resin. Still not sure about the theme, what sort of theme, what I'm going to do, but I think I want to make it kind of like more um, dark, like a night, maybe with a moonlight or something. If I can manage to pop that in there, that'll be great because um, moon and like a silvery moon with the dragonfly, which is kind of like got that reflective silver on it so maybe maybe I'm just gonna think on that while I'm doing this as I do and then I changed my mind and it's completely different and it's like a, a sunny ocean summer day but yeah I think the silvery moon would be better and then I might even put some like a glittery, some glittery things on my dragonfly. Just dress him up a little bit more. Or her, not discriminating. Right. And there'll be then will be really a lot of preparation going on, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, so the first video was quite long. Um, I will do some shorter versions for people that get annoyed, but you know, I I think it's well I like to not with every video, but with some videos, I like to watch the whole thing. I just get the thought process because um I, I have a few people one of which my, my friend claudia she always says I, I, I like to watch the longer videos the ones that you doesn't have to be a long video but the ones where you explain things how you do things and she's an amazing artist artist herself i'm like you don't need any advice from me you're doing great but um yeah some people like it and the ones that don't um i decided to just do this because i can't help um, can't please everyone but at least those who are interested in the thought process and how I make mistakes all the time and how I fix them and uh, what I, I think about and how I think about how to do things and how some sometimes I just don't think about it and it just happens so I think all of that is um, informational and of course sure there there are videos where i already know what's going on and i just fast forward just to see the the result and that's fine as well so i don't go in there and comment to people and say why are you talking so much and why are you you know making these long videos because i know how the fast forward button works so i'll do that and i really don't have time to put in the, the time everything and put in the description where you can just click on the link and go straight to the pouring part. I, I honestly don't have time to do all of that. So I do run a business and this is just purely for, you know, fun for me and also I know that it's helping uh, a lot of people because I do see it in the comments. And I'm very, very grateful for you guys watching because it just um, justifies me doing this and videoing. Otherwise, I'd be just playing with with resin and not bother about turning the camera on, you know. But I do that just for you guys. And I don't ask for any money. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have any of that stuff. But it would be nice if you um, just liked and if you think it's going to help somebody um, share share the video and uh, you know it, it all helps with the algorithms and things I might just date this because oftentimes I 
don't date it straight away and then I forget and then I can't unless I look onto the video and then I can see sort of what date is it today is the 19th of June so I'll write that down there so we've got it and now um, because a lot of the times I have my beautiful newbies who are having a go at doing this I just got to line you up so I can I'm a bit cramped up oh see I have me my, my beautiful newbies who um, like to learn and everything is sort of new to them and I forget sometimes even even the simplest things that I think yep it's going to be that's going to be easy I don't have to explain that I get asked the question and I'm like oh yeah I remember like I didn't know how to do this once upon a time so oh that's a bit too much um always got to improvise that's one thing if i'm good at anything it's improvising and this is a bit of cardboard see if that worked oh one more on the other side then they can't move it there will be no tilting going on that's for sure oh look at that perfect da -da 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 -da. happy dance happy dance and it'll still pull oh it'll still pull to one size i gotta double it up I'm just gonna double up over here see what happens now Yep, now, now it is perfect now that way. That one's good. Bugger me. Oh, actually, this is good too. Now that I got up, actually, this side may be tiny little bit. Okay, so that's good. Let us start already. Goodness sakes. Been 23 minutes, just prepare. Bloody hell. Okay, so I'm using the Platinum Art Coat resin it's nice and relaxed now because i had it out in the sun for about an hour while i was mucking around in here probably about 45 minutes to an hour i was sitting out there and it's really really lovely now and so i've got about a hundred and this is one to one ratio so i've got about a hundred and uh, 60 milliliters it's probably well actually it's going to be too much but it's all right I've got some molds that I'm gonna stick the rest of it in and I might pop the heat on in here as well just to sort of ah, come on one and then I'll have to turn it off it's probably gonna make a bit of a sound i'm sorry about that but i need to keep it warm in here so i don't stuff up my my piece i want it to start to work when it's meant to and not you know there's no delays all right that is that what i do is i sprinkle i spray some isopropyl alcohol in there and just let it sit like that for a bit just let it sit there so it's easier to clean after but a little bit because it is cold it's winter here although it's not not as cold as some place so i'm going to give this a really good stir i decided to go with I was going to just do the clear over the black, but then I realized I've got these stripes uh, from this board, which is like a timber board, and that, um, I don't think that'll go with the, with the motif, so I will use my um, blue sapphire. And then maybe I can paint the silver moon after. We'll see what happens. But I've got lots of glitter and stuff that I want to put just throw over the top and make it nice and, you know, shimmery. But I don't want to take away from my dragonfly, if you know what I mean. So I've got to be careful there. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I think that's mixed in properly one to one ratio is really easy to do I like it but I do have a lot that are two to one ratio and they're not hard 
either so just this is a bit more convenient you know if you're in a hurry all right so that looks pretty clear in there I'm gonna use my other um, so I'm gonna do a little bit just a little bit first and then mix in my blue um, which is a sapphire blue really gorgeous color I want quite a bit of that because I'm gonna try and cover the see this is the thing with the with the, the pigments you can use as much as you want it'll still set it's only if it's wet like if you've got paint or uh, epoxy it will not but if you have something dry no Millie you can't come in sorry I'm working with epoxy not that you understand what I'm saying but anyway all right so that's that you can go to town like you know you can use all of flowers or whatever shove it in there and put some resin in there it'll it'll set all right, I don't want to use too much of that because it's going to be too much, isn't it? Okay, let's wipe that so it doesn't leak. I move my remote control for the heater so it doesn't set up. All right, so actually I don't even have to mix that in too much. It's just it's nice like that, just with a bit of a swirl and I was wondering if I should just put some glitter straight in that and, and go because or just sprinkle it over the top um da 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 I don't know because it's going to get coloured uh, let's do this this is uh, Ice Queen I have this in the shop it's a really really pretty pretty glitter and this is super fine and just the proper proper stuff you know oh yeah that's gorgeous look at that it's the proper stuff. It's almost like super crushed glass, you know. It doesn't fly everywhere like other glitters do. Wow, look at that. I reckon even just that is good enough. Okay, I don't want to stir it in too much. And simply just pour it straight over the top. There's nothing simple is there. I've got to be careful not to have bits and pieces and bumpy things in there. I might have to stand up for this one. Are you sure I'm on? Yes. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That's just tiny little bit of that glitter. Look what it did. That's just made it so nice. All of that's going to go on there. And that's going to be the background. And I might just do a splash of some chameleon uh, glitter, which is like a, it's got a he hexagonal shape to it which will make it nice and this oh yeah, it's getting hot now because it's only a small room this I miss my old studio my big big studio but I am transitioning now and one day I will buy a house <laughs> and have a studio again but for now I just have to play around in this little room which I don't mind I'll make do lucky I'm pretty organized and I can sort of believe it or not I am organized um, turning this thing off now okay that should turn off in a second so I don't mind I'm just going to let that sort of spread on its own my heat gun so I'll, I'll turn the volume down make sure my window is open a little bit now so I've got to be careful because I'm worried about tilting let that sit there for a bit that's going to take a while to set up anyway and I want to play with these ones which will be interesting let me move everything move the camera okay I've moved the camera and let's see what happens here just the clear I reckon I'm just going to put the clear in there and then I might just swirl in some 
so yeah I've got lots I'm going to be using some of these molds just like in the middle and let it spread and I can see where it's pulling so I can pop something underneath because this has not been um, leveled and I've got some nice glitter that I want to put there. I want to definitely um, celebrate the dragonfly and not the the background or anything like that. Background's going to be there, but I want to celebrate the dragonfly. So I'm just you know, see that's good. It's not really moving anywhere that bad, so that's pretty good. And even if it does slide down off the the wing, I can always cut that off. This is this um, is a, a flexible uh, kind of resin, so it's not going to go rock solid like the um, three hundred and sixty plus or what is the other one? The the oh, especially the platinum high temp that goes really really hard. Like I said, I am not affiliated. I don't, not, no one has sponsored this, but I just really, really like this resin. I have contacted Des to see if he can give me the discount code for you guys. But uh, yeah, he's a busy man. So I've got a little bit of that blue on my 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 spatula here so i'm just moving that around and it doesn't really matter i've got some blue there because i will be adding some bits and pieces and if i don't go all the way to the edge i always have my see if i leave because i'm worried that it'll just leak through i may just go right up to the edge and then stop there because i've got my uv resin that i can always patch it up with it does not worry me it's always got to be like a plan B I like to plan ahead and when I worked in HK as a coordinator I had to think of all the things that might happen could happen and then work on policies and procedures to stop it from happening and I'm using that in my everyday life because things can happen and I still screw up so it's better to be prepared, I reckon. What do you reckon? Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to sprinkle glitter and stuff. So the wings are going to be the star. I reckon they're going to be nice and thick too. So that's going to be good. So I might just pop a little bit of that blue everywhere a little bit. See that? It just makes it nice. And that's going to kind of like blend and spread. Just a, like a drop. I've got black on one side. I have blue on the other side. This is a gorgeous blue too. Mix a little bit of gold or silver with it and it just turns into a maze, amazing. Oops, that's a bit too much I think. <laughs> Put some there. There we go. See that? All done. Dabby dab dab. Just to spread it and then it'll do its own thing and it won't look so deliberate. All right, now I've got some. We're nearly done here. We're just going to let that sit. Um, I'm going to get my little. I still have some of these left in the shop. If if you want, they, they're pretty handy because they're only tiny. They're only like one gram. So get up for that one. Stand up. Get off your ass. And I'm just going to sprinkle. Maybe on this side. Well, that's going to be... This is the end bit. Okay. I made a mistake. But maybe this can be the, the end bit. Like, anyway. See? You can change your mind. Just keep going with it. See what happens. I do like this the chameleon glitter. It's really pretty. And it does like color shift. As you as you sort of turn it. You get a bit of purple. A bit of teal. A bit of blue. Green gorgeous that's gorgeous and I might have that on the end bits they're going to be my end bits I think I don't know I've got to be careful not to stuff it up hang on a minute because that one 
goes with that one. Put that there. And then that one goes with that one. Yeah, that's fine. I just have to, you know, because you can't have, you've got to have them on the end, not the, the front. Yep, that's fine. All right, let's keep going with it. I might even have a different color. Let's see if I can get it. Anyway, um, I do have a different. Wow, looking from here, it's like indigo. It looks indigo, which beautiful. Um, hold on one sec. I had to go and get my other chameleon glitter, which is this one here. It's so beautiful. I have these in the shop. If you're interested, go and have a look. No pressure, obviously, but you go and have a look. They are so gorgeous, and you don't need a lot. I mean, they are expensive. They're expensive for me to get. I only try to be fair and make a make a buck in the interim because I want to buy a house one day. But um, they they are expensive to buy. So you only use a little bit, and that's it. You don't need a lot. It just really gives a really really good effect and prettiness so that bit there is going to be on the outside so I've got to focus on what I'm doing it's exciting you know I never used to be a glitter girl anybody would tell me I had a neighbor who loved glitter and I would I would you know, I would have some for the shop but I'd be like oh my god so this is ridiculous but now I love glitter anything glittery I love it now this one is called the silver hologram and it's a holographic glitter I don't know if you can see all the colors in there but it's absolutely stunning and I'm going to go in between and everywhere with that one and that's just gonna actually I'm gonna sprinkle it like I do salt just like a pinch I think I get a better distribution that way and I don't want to cover the whole thing because I do like that lovely pink that I have in there and the gold and the silver and all the colors so I just I don't want to take away from that you know and just a little bit once again this this is an ultra fine glitter it's um, 008 grade so it's super fine it's almost like powder uh, but it's so good because it's not clumping up together. It sort of it separates like glass. That's gorgeous. That'll be enough. Wow, this is gonna be so good. I just want to keep going with this. See the difference between see there's a, here's another glitter here. This is also a nice glitter, but the reason well of course that's not even open. Why this one is closed is closed is it's closed because I haven't opened it. The reason why these are cheaper is because of the the quality. Like you can sort of see the difference. That does look a lot more like glitter, and you probably can't see in the screen when you look at this. Oh gosh, this one actually looks worse in there. But in real life, this is so super fine, super fine. And this is fine, but not the same sort of quality, just like what they use to make it. So that's why it's cheaper. So I just go by what, um, how much I get charged and then work out the price like that. Um, okay, so that is that. We're going to spread this one now, so we'll move you again. Oh, don't, don't get dizzy on me back to mama board and then see how it's pulling to that side slowly slowly it seems to be pulling and these are the, okay so i might lift that for a second and get rid of these oh what happened there i didn't pull one there did i see if that makes a difference if it leaks a little bit doesn't matter i'll just you know pick it up and use it for something else Righto. So, we're going to use a palette knife or something to spread this. I don't feel like getting my hands in there. But I do want to get 
add some of this and just do that. And then when it starts to set a little bit, I'm going to come in and um, stick my dragonfly on there. And then on top of the dragonfly will come the wings when they're set. Oh, so gorgeous. That you got to get this this glitter. Mixed up. Can you even see that? Oh gosh, I'm going to bring you closer after so you can see all the beautiful shimmer and different colors. This one's called the Ice Queen. So we were going to do the, the wings. We're going to go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We don't want to go too. And if we go like that, don't want to go too high because I need room for my wings, right? Let me spread this out a bit better. Well, I'm really into dragonflies again. I was into dragonflies probably 10 years ago when I was going through some trouble in life. And then... <laughs> I'm going through trouble in life again. So dragonflies, they just angels and dragonflies. Anyway, let's do it. A little bit of silver. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on there. I don't even want to. I just want to go like this, put some on my fingers, and then just go. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit. Not a lot. There. Looks like little climates. And it's also working as a bit of a that that's gonna move too and it's gonna go like to one side. Hopefully you won't, but because I do like it like that. Maybe I should have waited. Oh well. Um and then we're gonna set our lovely dragonfly on top there I want him in the middle because I need room for my gorgeous le um, leaves wings yeah that's it Nope, not yet, not yet. So far so good. No, that's pretty good. I just want to dip the head in there and lift it up so it picks up some of that resin and it's sort of... There you go, stay up. Excellent. And then the wings are going to go there. Cool. And we will put a little bit of resin on top of him as well just to secure the actual uh, aluminium so it's resin It's got to be covered in resin as well. It's just going to protect him and if it gets dropped it doesn't rip or anything. It's just going to be resin. Okay, so we're just going to go down the tail. I don't really want to put any glitter on this guy. No glitter on him, on the body, because I've got enough on the wings and I think that's going to be enough. I'm really excited about this, this one. Always when I plan to do one thing, 
ends up being something else and it, it those pieces are usually the best do you find that let me know in the comments if things go completely opposite of what you were going to do and it turned out perfect well mind you i can't really say it turned out perfect yet because it's not finished yet gotta wait till the end oh that's pretty good have i got any licks yet not yet <laughs> fingers crossed maybe because it's cold in here so it'll take a while to set up but that's all right and those little sprinkles of that um silver that's just a pigment silver night with a bit of alcohol a little bit of water not too much water because resin does not like water but alcohol and so you see how it's just kind of it, it looks like little little moons everywhere which is pretty cool i think okay now that i've done that i can even go around and add some more to these guys because i didn't go all the way to the edge and just add some of that and then yeah i will see you later i'm going to pop in here this afternoon um, it's about lunchtime now I'll, I'll pop in here in this afternoon and uh, take a video and see if anything's changed and if my dragonfly body is still on the board and it hasn't slid off <laughs> it shouldn't but yeah you never know so I'll come and check on that and then yeah see how we go thank you for watching so far um, hang in there because within a second I'll be back for you bye Good day, we are back the next day. I had no leakage, which is really awesome. Um, I kind of lost this eye a little bit because it's too dark, so I'm going to have to put some highlights on that to fix that up. Um, but otherwise, I really love the effect of this. Can you even see that? Look at that, the shimmer. And also that beautiful silver that just kind of blended in put this one on the side and we're going to grab our wings i really need to take them off gently and carefully because i certainly don't want them to crack on me and that can happen because it's just so cold in here and resin even in the molds tends to crack but i want to pull that off so i'm just gonna uh, fiddle with this gotta be slow and careful and then i'll be back okay i decided to use the heat gun just then i had a brain fart that's going to help make it more flexible just going to kind of softens it and it's, it's not going to be um cracking on me so that's that's a good thing right i might have to do that with all of them this is really sticky isn't it i decided i might just because it's stuck to the i know what i'll do simple solution would be to cut the plastic cut the plastic there we go it's going to be easier to take it off and even if some of it doesn't come off it'll still be okay because that is going to be the top side Showing you everything I do so you know. And if you're, like I said, bored with it, fast forward this bit because it's, uh, I know it can be annoying. We don't, I gotta do it. For the newbies, my favorite people in the world, the newbies. Since I was a newbie once, and I know that it's important to see how things are done. 
My gosh, that is really tight, isn't it? Oh la la. That's stuck. Big time. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go like this. See? And I managed to grab the Oh no. Oh yes. Oh wow. The actual aluminium is coming off. Look at that. This is something new. Let's get rid of this one. Wow, okay. Gosh, that is so sticky. Go away over there. Okay, so look at that. The aluminium is coming off. The colour is still there that I painted so that <laughs> the actual paint and the aluminium is is coming off. Look at that. Wow. And I managed to crack it. Bloody hell, Susanna. Okay, so I'm getting too excited and I need to watch what I'm doing now. Be a little bit more careful. Jeez Louise. Alright, so I'm just going to be really taking it easy. Pop that down there. This is how I need to do it. Like that. Press that down so it protects that. I think now that I might have to take that aluminium off because it's going to come off eventually so I might as well do it so I'm just going to press that down oh bugger I have to I have to fix what happened there I wonder I think I was probably missing some resin on the edge there, which is really strange. Anyway, let's just do this bit. That's right, I was missing that resin there, and this is coming off. Wow, how interesting. Just have to go over the other way now. Just holding that down with this so uh, it doesn't. stuff and it's sticky stuff there we go wow see and I have the color and it's actually so pretty the pink and the gold and the silver even a little bit of silver the pink and the gold but this is too um too soft see that I put that on my dragonfly it'll droop like that so um, I am gonna have to mix some more resin and pour some more resin over the top of it just to secure that make it stronger sorry guys I was hoping to finish this piece today but looks like I'm going to be pouring some more resin on these guys and wow this is crazy I've learned something yeah just uh, it makes sense that it wouldn't stick to to the uh, uh, aluminum mmm very interesting okay let's do it let's get some more resin mixed up okay so I've mixed up mixed up some platinum high temp 100 because I know that this resin is going to set fast and it takes like several hours and it's done and this one is not the flexible resin so it's going to be nice and rock solid so we're just going to pop those on um, and whatever I have left I might use some on here put it down here so it's nice and flat okay let's go flat. Alrighty. Now let's see. What can I do here with this guy? 
I was going to do like a moon scene, wasn't I? And I think I might just put the moon like right there. It's got to be uh, properly symmetrical and I don't know how I can do it with, unless I draw it, I can do that. Oh, I've got silver pens. I can draw it. These are chrome pens. I still have some in the shop if you want them, guys. That does look nice, just like that. But see if I can do something with these eyes. His eyes are quite. Maybe I can just like. Do that that sort of separates them. Try to do that on that side. Because it's gonna get some reflection there from the the old moon. This one's bigger than the other one. too much. I have to think on this. I've got to create an illusion that this eye is smaller than this one. I mean, I mean the same size as this one because this one's smaller. That's why I have to do that and I might just get rid of some of that. These are permanent markers, the silver that I use, the chrome, and it gives you like that um, glass sort of uh, uh, mirror effect. Now that's good, I'm not going to, what I will do is put a little bit on the side here, brush, just give it a little We can't even see it because it's wet. So I'm in too impatient to to wait for the paint to dry. So that's why I'm doing it like this. There, that'll do for now. That'll do. Big. That'll do. Got it. I will not do the the moon. I decided not to do it. However, I might just add something to this and just do like swirls all the way around just to use up that, to be honest, just to use it up and to give this a bit of texture I reckon. Because once I have my guys come and sort of sit like that, it will stand out. I don't want to have anything underneath there, if you know what I mean. Sometimes it can just be too much and you um, overload things. You don't want that to happen. So I might just mix something in with this, very light, and then just go around and swirl, every, swirl it all around. So I'll probably start at the middle and just, just go like that. So give it a bit of texture. I'll keep going like that, but I want to add some, maybe some shimmery stuff. I don't know. I'll see. Okay, so I picked some. Um, this is called Mermaid Teal, one of our glitters, and it's a very similar color, almost matching with the chameleon, that sort of a turquoisey teal that I have in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my cup here. Um, and just do a swirl around. Actually, I'll put it in a smaller cup to be sure, to be sure, and to be safe, not to overdo it as I tend to do. So, a little bit of, I only need like a few swirls around just to give it texture and a little bit of excitement. Yeah, not too much of that either. Alrighty, so that's, see, that's just 
it's just gonna sort of sprinkle a little bit around I get rid of that let's do it and whatever I get on my dragonfly I'm just gonna yes yeah, so I'm just gonna do come on whatever I get on my dragonfly I can always like wipe that off Makes a really nice kind of change. This breaks it a little bit and adds texture as well. I love texture. That's great. You can't even see it on on the dragonfly. It kind of fell off, which is cool. Right back the next day, it was freezing in here I actually touched these I put the heater on and they were so so cold so I've just been very very careful not to snap at anything because it's likely to happen I love the, the little texture that I got there put that aside for now and uh, then just peel these off um, they should come off real easy now it's pretty hard but they can also snap because see this is the thing with the resin in winter in the cold it will still set but it's very temperamental it really needs to be somewhere in a warm area for a while for it to cure properly you know because it does set but the, that would snap real easy and normally you can't really do that with um, with art resin it won't just snap unless it was super thin. Um, this is not super thin. And uh, I'll be careful, especially with the edges. But see how easy that's coming off that um, aluminium? This. I've got to warm it up a little bit and then I'll cut that off. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now, if I wanted to be really rustic, I could even leave these bits off on there but I won't because it would bug me every time I saw it okay so now we're just going to heat these up see looking a bit iffy not real good so we're just going to heat it up it's going to be pretty warm Touch it to see if it's right. Ah, right, yeah, let's see how soft that is. That'll be real easy now to cut. I'm going to cut it on a little bit of an angle. Um, I think it's going to help. It. Oh, no, it's not really because it's sticking. Ah, it's all right. I just don't want it to be too sharp of an edge, you know. That's all right. What you can do is you can always squish it down with a tool. Maybe the other side would be better, and make it so it's not that straight cut. You know, I still have that tape on there. That's why it's a bit sticky. Uh, that is the annoying part. But anyway, let's go. I am really amazed at how the other side turned out and I'm really inspired now to do another piece, maybe another dragonfly unless something else pops up. But have a look at this. I don't even know if you can see that. That is, does it look silver? It does like, because it's, it's got that little bit of that gold and it's got that beautiful pink which is the uh, mother of pearl. It's like a peachy pink, it's so gorgeous, goes so well with the uh, with these colours. Um, but bits of that, uh, what did I have? Was it blue? I can't even remember now if I had any on there. But when that peels off, it comes off clean. And all that that I painted on there actually stuck to the resin, which is really amazing. It's like when you put um, pigments and things on, on, on your 
in your mold and then when you pull the mold out it's sort of the same thing so it works as a mold type thing so I'm going to play with these and then I'll come back when they're all nice and clean and ready to be attached okay so my wings are ready now look how gorgeous they are so you get the one that's a little bit you know not not as good and put it in the bottom and the ones that you think is looking better you put it on the top um, I was thinking of maybe making like a little ripple effect here and I'm going to try and do that now I don't know if it's going to work or not but I'm definitely going to try because I think that will be something else to to learn and do um, top up my tea mm, nice so um, yeah I'm going to do that one thing to know is um, I've got to be careful not to manipulate this too much because anything that you 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 muck around with the with the molecules or the atoms in these in the um, things is likely to snap. So if, when I heat the resin, it relaxes, and so the, everything sort of relaxes and stretches with the heat, and then once the it cools down it shrinks again especially if it's really cold it's likely to snap even on its own without any any you know uh, force being put on them so I'm going to be very careful with that one but something to learn I'm gonna actually I need a tool of some kind to help me with the ripple maybe even just a pencil maybe even a pencil I need something that's not so thick Two of these maybe. Let's see, let's see. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. And now I have to work fast. One under, one over. Might not work. See how it, it just goes back to like that. Uh, can you see what I'm doing? It keeps that's really warm. Just gotta be careful. Oh no, it's stuck to the thing. That's not a good thing. Oh no, it's plastic. See, that's really pliable, but the idea is that I create like a crease there. It's just too like rubber now. It's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. It's it's past its thing, but what it can do is I can just uh, let it cool down like this, so it's got a little bit of a lift. Uh, here we go. Could have like a little bit of a lift there, and I can do the same with this guy. heat up this one too much I think I'm done with that now bit of a lift on that side to let it cool down it should stay like that it's it just taking its time coming back this is the thing <laughs> we're learning something new now we're going to give it a few minutes. Okay, we are ready, dear friends. And how exciting is this? We're going to be attaching our beautiful wings. Just got to try to maybe go down a bit with that one. And that one should sit on top like that. And they should both be lifted. Like that so we're gonna to have to prompt it with so see this is still a bit soft which is great because I'm just gonna put something underneath there um, that is that that actually stuck together oh interesting but that will snap so we just want to make sure we've got them both and they both look great so that one's gonna sit like that How's that looking up there? 
I got a stand up for this one. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get some uh, UV resin. And I will go outside in the sun with this with this guy. But for now, I will, I'll start him off with the torch. Um, might just attach that to that first. It seems to want to attach all by itself, but. I like the way that is sort of lifted, but the whole thing is going to have to lift. So that is attached to that now, which is great. Now we've got to attach these two dudes. Let's do it. All right, happy with that so far. Now we need to attach that to I do like how that's sort of tilted. That's really, really cool. I need to do that here as well. Tilt it. It's going to have to go out in the sun. I don't want to be pulling on it too much because it's going to. It's not going to like it. Um, I don't have enough UV to to totally like cure it and solidify it. Um, so I just got to find where the. The wing's actually going to go and what it's going to look like. Where that needs to go down a bit, just like that. Okay. It's sort of tilting a little bit. But I think that's good. It doesn't really matter which way it sits. Oh, cup of tea. A sip of tea. All right, let's do it. Let us do it. Everything keeps moving. Okay, I'm gonna go out. The, the sun's gonna do it quicker for me. So, just gotta adjust that. Put some more in between to kind of like hold it together. I also wanna put a little blob Maybe actually no. I'm just gonna pop something underneath to hold them separated. Back in a sec. Okay, so I've got a bit of silicon, just from leftovers from my uh, project that I was doing a while ago, making some molds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop some under here. Because it's not gonna this is not gonna stick to silicon. So I'm just cutting and cut straight through it. Pop one there and pop one there as well. Look okay, at neighbor doing something singing. That one's gonna sit there. Put a little bit of pressure there like that. That's nice, that's created a little ripple without even trying. Get another one. Sometimes I save things because I have a feeling I'm going to use it for something. But I was right. Let them use it for something. That way it's not... They're both a little bit elevated which is kind of cool oh that's nice put that there just like that sun's oh sun's gonna relax this To relax it down and I know I've got that UV there um, so I'm just gonna see if it'll sit down better yep see it's doing it then I'll come outside and the sun will zap it real quick it won't be a problem at all okay I'll be back soon 
the power of the sun is absolutely amazing that took like literally 10 seconds for that to go absolute solid but what i will do for extra security i'm gonna because better to do it now than worry about it later so i want to actually i might even just put like a little drop to do that after but i want to drizzle some if i could do it without making a mess it would be really great and let it slide down just for extra see that's sort of lifting there as well and go out there in the sun just to give it extra support and then I want to do like a little drop do like a little go there maybe maybe even some maybe one there Air bubbles go away air bubble there little drops of rain or something would be fun I think maybe one there and maybe one there so I've got to run out there literally run all right now I'm just going to heat him up a little bit for the last time to relax that resin and then I'm going to leave it like that. And that's going to continue to cure even the UV resin because there's, there's light coming in here. It will cure. Um, just leave it like that and then we shall be back when it's uh, all good and ready to be set free. Buffing. okay we are back a few hours later we're about to pull out everything and hopefully it'll, it'll stay there and looks like it's happy it's still a little bit soft I can always pop them back in just to be sure to be sure as they say but uh, I'm pretty pretty happy so far so we're going to take it out you can come outside with me oh that's so pretty and we'll uh, take a close-up in the sunlight. Here we go. Here she is. Looking so pretty. I don't know if you can see that there's that's actually lifted. Let me move it over here. Look at that. And the sun. Wow. I will, as a precaution, after I take some photos, pop those things underneath and just keep it like that, just to make sure it doesn't relax and, and uh, flatten on me after all that work. I don't want that happening, so yeah, that's that from me. Hope you like it and I hope you learned something. I sure have. <laughs>